how many of you like it to be loud? How many of you like it to be quiet? How many of you like it to be loud sometimes? How many of you like it to be quiet sometimes? Put your hands down. How many of you know someone who gets really, really grumpy? <laughs> Put your hands down. This is a story about someone who's really, really grumpy. His name is Isaac. And he is so, is there an Isaac in the audience? Sometimes that happens. Okay. He is really, really grumpy. Oh, he's grumpy. Well, Isaac complains about everything. <laughs> everything makes him upset. One day he was going up the steps of his home and the stairs went great, great, great. Can you make that sound with me? Great, great. He said, Pah! too much noise. He opened his front door, his front door went squeak. Make that sound with me. Squeak. And he said, Pah! too much noise. He walked across his floor, the floor went great. Greet, greet. Make that sound with me. Greet, greet, greet. And he said, say it with me. Pah. Too much noise. Hmm. Well, he turned on his tea kettle and it went hiss, hiss. Make that sound with me. Hiss, hiss. And he said, say it with me. Pah. Too much noise. The wind blew through the leaves. And he said, too much noise. And the leaves fell on his roof. And they went, and he said, too much noise. My house is too loud. I must find a way for my house not to be so loud. Well, he sat and thought, and then he knew what to do. You see, there was a woman in town who was supposedly very smart, very wise, and he thought, I will go and ask her. So down the road, he went to her house, and he knocked on the door, <coughs> and she said, yes, can I help you? <laughs> and he said, my house is too loud. She said, really? What, what kind of sounds does your house make? He said, when you go up the front steps, say it with me, they go, creak, 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 creak. When you open the front door, it goes, Squeak. When you walk across the floor, it goes. Eh, 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 eh. When I turn my tea kettle on, it goes. Hiss, hiss. Then the wind blows through the root trees and it goes. Whoosh, whoosh. And then the leaves fall on my roof and they go. Crackle, crackle, crackle. Crackle, crackle, crackle. And it is too much. No. She said, I know what to do. <laughs> Go home and put a chicken in your house. <laughs> he said, do you want me to put a chicken in my house? Yes, yes I do. <laughs> okay. And so the old man went home and chased a chicken around the yard until he caught it. And he went into his house and he put the chicken down. The chicken did not like being in his house. All night long, he went Make that sound with me, here we go. All night long, he did not sleep at all. He went back to the old woman the next day. He said, knocked on the door. She opened, she said, yes. He said, I don't think you understood my problem. My house was too loud, and you told me to put a chicken in my house. And all night long, the chicken goes, It is, say it with me, too much noise. Oh, okay, well, you go home and put the dog in your house. But, 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 but the chicken put the dog in your house. So 
He went home. Now, normally, his dog got to run around outside all the time. And he slept in a nice big dog house, and he was very happy outside. Isaac brought the dog in the house. The dog had never been in the house before. But what else was in the house? What else? The chicken. The chicken. The dog decided to chase the chicken. All day. What a sound does a dog make? <laughs> and so he ch- barked and he chased the chicken and the chicken went <laughs> all night long. And when he woke up in the morning, you know what he said, right? Say it with me. Too much And so he went to the old woman's house. He knocked on the door. And she opened the door. She said, yes. And he said, ah, I told you my house was too loud. Too much noise in there. And you told me to put a chicken in my house. And all night long, the chicken goes. And you told me to put a dog in the house. And the dog chases the chicken and goes. And it is too much She said, oh, that's terrible. Go home and put a goat in your house. A goat, yes, put the goat in your house. But she said, go. So he went home and he went out to his goat pen and he got a goat and he put him in the house. And all night long, the goat with his little horns, he would butt things all about, hit him with the head. And he would go, what sound does this goat make? Do you know? Nah, 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 nah. And the dog was chasing the chicken going, whoa, 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 whoa. And the chicken was running around going, and it was, And so the next day, he went to the old woman's house. You know what he's going to do, right? So do it with me. Here we go. <coughs> she opened the door. She said, yes. He said, old lady, you said you were going to help me. You told me to put a chicken in my house. And all night long, the chicken goes. And you told me to put the dog in my house, and he chases the chicken and goes. And you told me to put the goat in my house. And he walks around hitting things with his head and saying, and it is. The lady said, well, of course it's too much noise. You have a lot of animals in your house. Go home and take them out. Just do as I say. And so he went home. And he got the goat. He pulled the goat out the front door and down the steps. And he put him back in the pasture. And the goat was much happier. And then he got his dog out of the house and put his dog in the backyard. And his dog started running around much happier. And then he caught the chicken and put the chicken back in the chicken coop with the other chickens. And the chicken was much happier. And now he had a big mess on his floor. So he went out to the barn, and he got a big pail, and then he went to the well, and he pulled up a lot of water, and he went inside, and he got a big dust broom and a bucket, and and he got a a scrub brush, and he cleaned the floors of his house. And then he put everything away, and he went up the front steps. Do you know what the front steps did? Here we go, do it with me. Great, great, great. And he said, oh, what a quiet sound. And he opened the front door and it went, and he said, oh, what a quiet sound. And he went across his floor and his floor went, and he went, oh, what a quiet sound. And he turned on his tea kettle and it went, and he went, oh, what a quiet sound. The wind blew the trees, it went whoosh, whoosh. And the leaves fell on his roof. And he said, oh, what a quiet sound. Now my house is quiet. 
And that is the story of Too Much <laughs> The animals made the house quieter. That's exactly right. All right, we're going to play a little game. You ever seen the, the thing where you follow the bouncy ball? Uh -huh. Yeah, we're going to do something like that. It uses something special. Who's ever seen uh, the thing with the little sh the, the shells, the uh, walnut shells, where you move it around and there's a pea under it? I think they do it on uh, Price is Right. Yeah. yeah. You ever seen that? Anybody ever watch Price is Right? Mm -hmm. I, was, <laughs> I was watching it when I was y'all's age. That's why I said that. Uh, but the, it's, it's the thing with the little pea, which is actually a rubber bounce ball. And I don't have a walnut shell, but I do have a cup made out of black walnut. So that'll work. <laughs> cool. Thank you. It fell over. It's okay. Now, it uses a green ball, a cup, and my special magic pouch. Follow me? So here's how it works. Let me find, all right, perfect. Here's what you gotta do. You gotta watch the green ball. If the green ball goes inside the cup, like that, you gotta tell me if it's in the cup or if it's in the pouch. You think it's in the cup or in the pouch? Pouch. 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 It's not in the cup. Yeah. It's in the pouch. See, I took it from underneath and I place it inside my pouch. That's how it works. Now, if you were to say uh, pouch, you know where it'd been then, right? Oh. Underneath the cup. Okay, <laughs> i tell you what, I'll do that again. Watch close. Take the ball, place it down inside the cup, put the cup down on the table, put the ball inside the pouch. You see it inside the pouch, snap my fingers, it jumps right back to the cup. Did you follow? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the secret, I'll tell you the secret. A lot of people don't know the secret, but I'll tell you, it actually uses one Two balls, two <laughs> rubber bounce balls. Now you don't see one ball, you only see the one I want you to see. If you saw the second ball, you'd know exactly how the trick works. See, when I put the green ball inside the pouch, snap my fingers, the second ball comes back just like that. That's a little ball, a yellow ball. That's a green and a yellow ball. Huh? Three balls. Well, it's just two, it's a green and a yellow one. But I tell you what, since you like to speak, would you please tell me which one you want me to use, the green one or the yellow? Yellow. You want me to use the yellow? Yeah. Are you sure? Green. <laughs> you want to change your mind? Yeah. Which one? Green. Green. All right. So we'll let you, this, this will be yours. We'll leave that right there for now. We take the yellow ball, place it inside the pouch, snap my fingers. The yellow ball actually comes right back. Do you believe me? Watch. Well, it comes back as a lemon. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> See, if I take the green ball and do that, it does the same thing. Except this time it comes back as a lime. Now, if that's a lemon, that's a lime. This is a stripe, and that trick is done. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank, you. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Lemon and lime and a Sprite. And watch, I can, I can juggle still. Look at cool. that. This is called uh, fruit Sprite Juggling. I don't know. <laughs> fruit Juggling? Fruit Juggling. Hello, what's your name? Rebecca. Rebecca. Hey, what can I make for you today, Rebecca? A ladybug a bracelet. A ladybug bracelet? Good. I'd love to make you a ladybug bracelet. And so where do you go to school? Long Okay. So let's see if we can make a ladybug bracelet for you. Let's see. We make five bubbles. Oh, is that five? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, yes, good counting. And then we're going to make a body. Let me get our scissors. <laughs> what is that? Did you have beans for breakfast? No. Okay, now we're going to stretch it for your little wrist. This is, this is the part that holds the bracelet on. Okay. Okay, now we're going to put, give him some eyeballs. You got a mustache? No. No mustache? Okay, no. okay. Give him some eyeballs. Now, do you want a happy ladybug or a sad ladybug? A happy ladybug. Do you want it with or without teeth? With teeth. Good, good. So they could eat aphids. That's good. See, that's that's our that's that's our ladybug with teeth. <laughs> <laughs> they look better with teeth. I don't know why, but they do. So, so what do I need to do now? Ladybugs have those big old spots, don't they? Yeah. yeah we'll make some big old spots. And we'll make a line down the back. Okay. 
No, I want you to put your, point your hand and tuck your thumb. There you go. There you go. So, careful of the black. The black still might be wet. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>
guys? How you doing? Good. 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 I'm Jim. Who knows what these are? Ukuleles. These are ukuleles. That's right. They come in, in many different sizes and shapes. This one in particular is a soprano ukulele, and what's also what my friend Jack is holding up. And this is called a baritone ukulele. So each one of them has its own kind of particular pitch. Right? Pretty cool, huh? So what Jack and I are going to demonstrate is sort of a, a bluesy little thing for you. I think you'll enjoy it. Ready? Okay. okay. I'm going to do better next time. <laughs> so this is a, these are the ukuleles, okay? So the next time that you see one out and about, why don't you just pick one up and try it out? Have you ever heard the saying, April showers bring May flowers? It's an old saying, meaning it rains a lot in April, getting the ground and soil all wet, which then allows flowers to grow easier in the month of May. But many have the question, what is rain? And how does it have the magical powers to make flowers grow? In the summer months, we have a lot of hot days. And on those hot days, the air is filled with humidity, which is wet and saturated air. And it's also filled with water droplets, believe it or not. On the flip side, where the clouds are in the sky, it's much cooler, even on super hot days down here. The warm air from the earth rises into the cool sky, creating water droplets, which then turn into clouds. Maybe you've seen a picture or an animal in the clouds as you're laying out in your backyard looking up. From that point, all these clouds are holding a lot of water, which then a lot of clouds come together. It forms water droplets, which we know as rain. In the weather world, we call that a low pressure system. And whenever you hear that, it usually means that wet weather is on the way. Did you know a raindrop can fall from seven to 18 miles per hour? When it's falling in still air, meaning there's no wind, it can really move that fast. The speed also depends on the size of the raindrop. Raindrops are usually one one hundredth of an inch. That's really small, but they can be up to one fourth of an inch in diameter. Rain causes some good stuff, but it also causes some bad stuff as well. Rain waters our flowers, fills our lakes, and nourishes our backyards to keep the grass nice and green, but rain can also cause flooding. Flooding is caused when a lot of rain falls from the sky at one time. Usually if you live near a creek or a river and it rains a lot, it could flood in that area. The National Weather Service puts out watches and warnings to help us prepare for any flooding, which helps keep us safe and it saves lives. Rain is important in our lives today. It does many good things. So next time you hear the term, April showers bring May flowers, you'll know exactly what it means and what rain is. Knock, knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo hoo. You don't have to cry about it. <laughs> <laughs> what does cheese say when it's getting its picture taken? I don't know. People. <laughs> <laughs> when does the alphabet only have 24 letters? I don't know. When? When you and I aren't there. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Owls. Owls who? That's right. Owls who? Owls who? <laughs> Good job. I've heard people say it's raining cats and dogs, but what do you call it when it's raining ducks and chickens? Foul weather. <laughs> <laughs> Once there was a tiny little woman, and she lived in a teeny tiny little house. 
And she decided one morning when she got up, she wanted to take a little teeny tiny little walk. And she went out to take her teeny tiny little walk. And she saw a teeny tiny little bone. And she said, oh, a nice teeny tiny little bone. It will make a nice teeny tiny little soup. And she picked up a teeny tiny little bone and put it in her teeny tiny little bucket and went back to her teeny tiny little house and said, oh my, I'm a teeny tiny little bit sleepy. I think I'll have a teeny tiny little nap. So she got in her teeny tiny little bed and pulled up her teeny tiny little covers and closed her teeny tiny little eyes. Hmm. And then she heard a teeny tiny little sound. It went, ooh, who's got my tiny little bone? And she said, what? Oh, 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 I'm dreaming. Huh? I should go back to sleep. Huh? And she lay back down. And she heard it again. Oh, who's got my teeny tiny little bone? And she said, oh, oh, uh, I'm dreaming. It's okay. Uh, oh, my heavens. I'm, I must get some sleep. I'm so tired. And she lay back down. And as she fell asleep, she heard it again. Oh, who's got my teeny tiny little bone? And finally, she just sat up and she said, you want your teeny tiny little bone? It's on the shelf. Get it yourself. And that's the story of the teeny tiny little woman. <laughs> it's a teeny tiny little bit strange. <laughs>